I'm Christine, and filming a bookshelf tour makes me want to chuck my equipment out the window. Today, we're mixing things up because I'm moving. I'm about to move into my fifth LA apartment. What the f***? There's a lot of apartments. And so I have to tear apart all my beautiful curated bookcases. I thought it would be a good time to, you know, showcase some fun books. Book unshelf tour, if you must. And I'll be unshelving and packing the book, deciding if I should pack each book or unhaul it. This is my unhaul bag to donate. You want to leave with less books than you had so you have a fresh start in your new apartment. Every time you move, you kind of refresh all your shit. That is what we have to do. We have to be cutthroat about which books we honestly think we're going to be able to read in the future and which books that we should just stop hogging so that other people can enjoy the beautiful books. Let's do it! with this artwork of Chandler that isn't actually Chandler but looks a lot like my dog Chandler. It's not a book, so I'm not gonna donate it. It's mine. I got the lucky list just chilling on the edge of my desk here because this was our book explosion July book of the month. This month we're working with Simon & Schuster. This was such a fun, quick, delightful summer read about a girl named Emily whose mother passed three years ago. She's dealing with grief throughout this novel in a way that you don't usually see in books. Three years in, she's trying to figure out who she is now that she's gone through this very traumatic event and how that correlates with the person she used to be. Basically find herself again. And while she's cleaning out her mom's closet, she finds this lucky list, this bucket list of 12 things she wants to do before the start of her senior year. And she meets this girl who just moved back into town, Blake, and Blake is gonna help her do all the things on this list herself this summer. The two of them hit it off and sparks fly and I love their relationship. It's really beautiful watching Emily come into herself with Blake because Blake has no expectations of who she used to be and fall for Blake and reconnect with her mother through all the different activities on this list. I really enjoyed it. And it has a yellow spine so in my new apartment it can go in the yellow section of the bookshelf. So excited about that. Oh man we've got Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. You know I really wanted to to read this but I never got to and this is an art but honestly if I'm honest with myself I don't see myself getting to it anytime soon so I'm gonna donate it into the Steve Madden bag you go special edition of Beetle and Bard donate I'm gonna donate it oh god <laughs> this feud isn't going anywhere look how gorgeous this I can never get over how gorgeous the City of Bones special edition is wow second book in the Illuminate files if you have an audiobook those yet they're a great time the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. You know, I never got to this. I still want to read it though. I still have hope that I will read it. Sleeping Giants. I want to read this one. I don't think I'm going to get to it. I could always get the audiobook because that's what Natasha read and told me was great in the first place. Goodbye physical copy of this book that I heard was really great. Selection, a classic. The Selection Book Talk honestly feels like a classic of the Pomona's Book Talks to me. I'm like wearing my old prom dress in it. We've cleared one whole cubicle. Ukrainian edition of Again But Better. So beautiful. I'm going to treasure it forever. Oh, my Ark of We Are Inevitable. You know what? I have the hard copy now, so I can donate the Ark. Ark of History is all you left me. Dang, I do have a hard copy of this. I wonder if there was a specific reason I was keeping it. Oh yeah, Adam signed it for me. Third book I signed, but first in my heart. Don't tell the others. <laughs> We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. You know, I know people love this book. This is one of those that like I wanted to read, but I didn't get to it and I don't see myself getting to it anytime soon. It shall be donated. One of my many author copies of my new novel, Better Together. Parent Trap meets Freaky Friday about two sisters in their quarter life crisis, finding romance, finding themselves. It's a good time. If you haven't picked it up yet, the link's in the description. It came out June 1st. The Vanishing Half, so good. Loved it. I wish I had the non-book of the month edition because I just really love the cover and this room ruins it for me. Autobiography. I really, really want to read this. I haven't gotten to it yet. I love Christina Lauren. I love the packaging so much. Gotta hold on to this baby. I'm gonna read this. I've gotten into this groove where I like prefer reading floppy copies of books. I always was a hardcover gal and now I like the soft cover so I could fold it all the way back and bring it in the shower with no worries and no guilt. The Gravity of Us! Loved this audiobook. More Happy Than Not. I love this edition of More Happy Than Not. The paperback with the drippies. Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I bought this 
this. Because I felt like it was a book that I should read. And also, it's one of those Barnes & Noble pretty editions. And I'm going to hold on to it. Because I haven't read anything by Oscar Wilde. I want to know, like, what his writing style is like. Also, it's purple. Princess and the Fangirl. Super cute. There's something about Sweetie. Still got to read this. Kate in Waiting. The new Becky Alvar Tolly. Got to read this. Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm excited to read this. I read People We Made on Vacation a couple weeks ago. It was grand. Lauren Graham. Talking as fast as I can. I did the audiobook for this. It was super fast. Super good. It's one of the only celebrity memoirs that I've been interested in and that I've ever finished. Red, White, and Royal Blue. A classic. Nice try, Jane Sinner. I still want to read this. Kat gave this to me a while back and it's been waiting to be read ever since. The Grey Seer. Oh, I really want to read this one too. Felix Ever After. I got the audiobook for this so that I could finally dive in and I still have yet to. End of Days. Oh my gosh. I never finished this trilogy. I love the first two books. Like, loved them. Never read this one when it came out because I was too busy. And now, like, I've forgotten everything that's happened in the other two books. Gonna try to, like, hope that one day I'll get back. Put it through the ages. Rubik's Cube packed separately. Dredgy Pajeski. Why do I keep trying to pronounce this? I can't pronounce it. This is the Polish edition of Again But Better. How gorgeous is this art? Like, it just looks so much more chic. Another Better Together. Guys, have you heard I have a new novel called Better Together? Uh, Again But Better, my first novel. And then we've got Again But Better paperback edition with the bonus chapter. And then we've got the Again But Better arc before the arcs had a cover. And I kept one of these and I signed it for myself and it's the first time I signed it book for myself for future me and I really love that I really love looking back on that moment because you're in such a different headspace than you ever are normally when your book just comes out when you just get the book one last stop but Casey McQuiston I just got the audiobook for this I know I'm gonna have trouble picking this one up because I'm moving but I really want to read it so audiobook it is the Anthropocene review haven't read this yet but I gotta it's John Green's new book nonfiction that's why I haven't read it yet you know how I am with nonfiction I usually non read it much more interested in fiction but I love John Green's writing, so I'm gonna like it. I just have to actually read it. Got Malibu Rising chilling on my desk. I just finished this baby. I loved it so, 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 so much. Julie went on vacation. Just finished this. Loved it. More detailed reviews of those are in my stories I ate this month. The most recent one. The Sky Blues. Loved this. Rule of Wolves. I need to read this. I heard a thing from my friend Caden that made me be like, oh my God, I have to read this right now. And yet, I haven't yet. Save the Cat. Screenwriting classic. Simone Breaks All the Rules. Just Got This by Debbie Regard. Haven't gotten to read it yet. Redeeming Love. I got this from Natasha a while ago. Haven't read it yet. I'm holding out hope that one day I will because I know Natasha loves it and I want to read it. Last two in this cubby. We've got Strange the Dreamer. Determined to read. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And this is like a commitment. It feels like a big commitment because it's a high fantasy and that's a big commitment for my brain. And then Some Other Now by Sarah Everett. I just got this. Haven't read it yet, but I've heard really great things. Holding on to them both. Over here we have my cardigan plus songwriting memo. I bought and have yet to put in my car, so I still haven't listened to this. It's been like an entire year. I need to put this in my car. House of Hades is in here. Random. Rick's books don't fit into any of the color schemes on like any of my bookshelves. That's why this they're randomly scattered about. They have so many colors on the outside that they kind of are ruined for any sort of aesthetically organized bookshelf. It's very annoying, but like obviously I want all this on my bookshelf. I love them. Why don't you match anything. Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. This is like one of the prettiest Christina Lauren books. Look how gorgeous and shiny. Loved this book. Got my soft cover copy of Zenith by Sasha and Lindsay. Got Bird by Bird, which my friend Julia got me. It's a book about writing, I believe. have not read it yet. I'm not good at reading nonfiction books. Wait, 10 Things I Hate About Pinky by Sandaya Menon. Gotta read this baby. Of course, I've got my arc of When Dimple Met Rishi, which I also have the hard copy, but now I'm like attached to the arc. This is the one I actually physically read. <sighs> To donate this one. I already have the physical copy. Fine. I'm gonna donate it. Relax. Makeup Breakup by Sandaya Menon as well. Her author name is Lily Menon on this. I think she wants to separate her young adult from her adult novels so you can clearly know. I really want to read this. When I got this bookshelf, I really wanted to have a shelf just for my notebooks and journals from years and years past because I want them to be accessible to me, not sitting in some box. And not just journals that are filled, but ones that I haven't filled that I want to fill and I don't want to get lost in a box. They belong on a shelf just like the book so I have an entire shelf here with all different notebooks
hardcover Blood Promise. Classic. Key. Vengeance Road. I, I haven't read this. I've been holding on to it for years because I just love the title and it looks like Westworld to me and I am really interested in reading it but I haven't yet. Look how gorgeous the art is. And we've got The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is part of a trilogy that I want to read and haven't yet. And These Violent Delights which was our June Books Potion Book of the Month by Chloe Gunn. I've Hang the Moon. I just bought this one. I think it's a rom-com. And I have Imagine Me. I'm not sure where this falls. In Tara Moffey's Shatter Me series. I've gotten lost I feel like in that series because they all have such similar names. The first three obviously I know really hard what order they go in but I don't know where this one falls and I think I've read the first two of the new series. I feel like there's endless of them now. I'm way behind. The Boyfriend Project. I still want to read this. It looks so cute. Veronica Roth's The Chosen Ones. Look how beautiful. This is Veronica Roth's first adult novel and I want to read it. Haven't gotten to it yet. There's a blurb from Diana Gabaldon on the back. A hugely imagined twisty turning tale that leads to the labyrinths of magic and war to the center of the heart. Ugh. And Sky Beyond the Storm. I feel such shame for not having read this yet. My brain has been so chaotic that I haven't been able to take on a fantasy despite having bought the audiobook and started it like multiple times. I'm going to read this. I'm excited for when I do. My Sister the Serial Killer. Still super excited about this one. This is the fancy ass edition of Anna and the French Kiss that I of course could it not order. Look how beautiful it is. Look at it. I've got Louis Thatcher's The Card Turner. I don't think I'm ever gonna read this. I could donate this one. I got this a while ago because I love cards and I love holes by Louis Satcher. But I'm just, I don't see myself getting into it anytime soon. We got City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab, and of course The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, which I'm so excited to finally read soon. I started Vicious, so I'm, I'm on my way. Just like that, we're down to the bottom drink. We've only got this left on the middle shelf. This is from Westworld. I love it so much. If you watched Westworld, you know what this is. If you haven't watched Westworld, season one of Westworld, you guys. Self-contained, masterfully written season of television. Think of it as as a limited series. You can watch season two and three, but like they're not the same. Okay, bottom cubbies, y'all. Kingdom of Back, just got this one. Heartbones, love this one by Colleen Hoover. Layla, again, Colleen Hoover. I love everything Colleen Hoover's written. Heartbones was my favorite of the two of these. Super fake love song, haven't read this yet. Haven't read Homewrecker yet. Haven't read The Prison Hailer yet. Got a lot of VRs. Stop judging me. Right, we burn, which I got halfway through and then got busy doing something and never finished. Have to finish this. I love this trilogy by Kirsten White. So good. I have the audiobook and I have to fucking probably start over and read it again. Another special edition of City of Bones. Classic. Classic. This prop book lion book that a viewer made me and gave to me when I went to summer in the city in England is one of my favorite things I've ever received. It's so cute. This note is so lovely. I just, this is one of the things that I shall forever treasure. There's like Harry Potter pages plastered along the edges. It's beautiful and delicate. So I think this has to be wrapped separately. Bernard's Bath, my favorite children's book. I got a copy of it over the past year because I was thinking about it so much. I was like, why don't I have it? My 100K plaque. These are mostly TBR down here. I haven't read like any of these. Oh, except for A Court of Thorns and Roses. What are you doing? Here? A Motion of Great Delight. What are you doing here? Oh, I needed to haul it. I think I brought it back out, but I started this one. Oh, we are inevitable. Gail Foreman's new book. It was so great. It's just, again, it's a love letter to bookstores. It's about this college age dude his family has gone through a great loss and they own a bookshop and the bookshop is failing basically they're not selling enough books our lead character is content to let it just die but the community and his dad really wants to find a way to save it and I had the honor of blurbing it I'm one of these blurbs right tears me this story hits hard right in the book lover feels we Are Inevitable is full of endearing characters, witty dialogue, and a heart-wrenching, thought-provoking plot that will leave readers inspired and itching to get back to the bookstore. Christine Richie, on New York Times bestselling author of Become a Better What? On the back of Gail Foreman's new book. Got one of these things. We're traveling with a soft cover. Dear Justice, oh my gosh, I have to read this. I haven't read this yet. From Twinkle with Love, haven't read it, gotta read it. Tweet Cute, again, haven't read it, gotta read it. Emma Lord is fantastic. We've got The Black Gates by Christina Hammonds Reed. This cover is just stunning. I think I said that in my haul, but like I can't get over, it's stunning. And of course I've got The Trials of Apollo down here. I don't wanna donate these because I want to, in theory, I really wanna read them, but I like can't get myself to pick these up because I feel like it's been too long since I've been in the Percy world and I've forgotten everything. I hate when that happens to me. I don't remember anything from the first one and I don't have time to go back and it's just such a 
stressful complex. I'm going to keep them because, again, I want to read them. <sighs> and then lastly, over here, we've got Permanent Record, which fell off. I really want to read this. I Mary H.K. Choi. Tokyo Ever After by Miko Jean. I can't crack this one yet because this is our August Explosion Book of the Month. I'm so excited to read it. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Heard the most amazing things. This is the most amazing cover. We have a Burning that I want to read. Oh, The Cost of Knowing that I really want to read. Red Scrolls of Magic, which I have read, of course. The Soulmate Equation, which is excellent. Moxie, which I haven't read, but I've seen the movie. I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown, which I have read. I did the audiobook. It was excellent. It's not very long, so you can read it in a day. Smash It by Francina Simone, which I love. I have a blurb on the back of this book, too. Hilarious, heartwarming, empowering, and neurotic in the best way. I loved reading this book. Smash it, smashed it! Five Feet Apart and All This Time. Both beautiful books. I don't see myself reading these though anytime soon. I saw the movie for Five Feet Apart and I really enjoyed that film. All This Time I think is the sequel. I wonder if they're making a movie for that. Maybe I'll hold on to these. They're so pretty. Wow, three people wrote this. And then only two of them wrote this one. Interesting. I wonder how that worked out. That's it for the shelf. She naked now. Don't look. She's Nick. And may I turn your attention to this corner of the room. Book spine number one. It started off as my ARC collection. I usually end up only keeping ARCs that really mean something to me that have sentimental value for one reason or another. But then I got a puppy and it was mandatorily restructured to house his shit because it's close to the door where I used to have to take him out. So in the new apartment, that will change. It's gonna be beautiful again. Over here we've got the special alligator toy. We've got a stack of better together postcards. They sent me more than I needed just in case and and now I have 50 gajillion. I'm never gonna use all of them. This is where the poop bags sit. It's exactly what I always envisioned for my bookshelf. The books on this shelf has actually be just become a hodgepodge of books that I need a place for and I just stuff them on in. This is one of my special arcs though. It's Chain of Gold. Then over here I have The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander, White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo, and White Rage by Carol Anderson. I read these last year. Oh, I have an arc of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, but I actually did the audiobook for this. Oh, it's one of my favorite books of all time now, but I do have the hardcover, and since I didn't physically read the arc, I should donate it. We have The Dark Prophecy, which I'm, I'm missing the jacket to, Another Trials of Apollo. A fake copy of Little Women. Oh yeah! We got the DVD for Little Women. And a cool notebook. And a cool pen. I should throw out the fake book though. That's unneeded. I have the arc of I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I don't know if you were around in 2015 when I made When Your Favorite Author Has a New Book video, but this is the arc I got while I was making that video. Making that video was a big deal for me. I had a really great time. I went to a lot of different locations and that made this book all the more special. I have two giant Chrissy Teigen cookbooks that I got at the start of quarantine in the hopes of cooking. I cooked nothing from these books. I have not opened them since I got them and flipped through all the recipes. Ooh, one to watch. I wanted to read this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this one. Next we have two special arcs. My Lord of Shadows arc, which I wrote all over in this one. And my Chain of Iron arc, which I, I wrote a lot in this one as well. And I, it's just always so special to me when I get an arc of one of Cassie's books because it's always surreal. Like, cause I, like her books are my favorites and the fact that I got it early is just mind boggling every time. And I have my arc of What If It's Us, which I love this book so much by Becky Albertalli and Alan Silvera. My arc of Zenith, which is specially signed for me by Sasha and Lindsay. And my arc of Warcross, which maybe I should donate this one because I have the hard copy. I don't think it's signed. It was just, this was what I, I read this physical copy of Warcross. So that's how I like attach to books. I'm like, that's the version I read. So that version is more important because I was there with it. I think that's a weird thing. I don't know. Do you guys think that way with your books too? I have my arc here of Ember in the Ashes, which is signed by Saba Tahir. This is really special because Kat and I got invited to talk to Saba and watch them film the book trailer before it had even come out, which was very cool. The Air of Fire arc. We waited in line for hours for this arc and it was the first time I met Sarah. It was a great BEA. And I have an arc of The Founds of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. This was excellent. Maybe I should donate this one because I did end up doing the audiobook, which was so good. And this isn't signed and I have the hard copy, which is great. 
gorgeous. I'm going to donate this one so someone else can read this. I have an arc of frankly in love that says frankly in love with Christine. Like this was such a genius marketing idea. This arc just feels special because it has my name on it. I love frankly in love too so I, I want to keep this. But Putting everyone's individual name on an arc made it feel so special. I have my arc of Lady Midnight. It was the, the best surprise ever finding this in the mail. I think this is my first Cassie Claire arc I ever got. Yeah it is and oh my god what a time when this came in the mail. My arc of Gail Foreman's I Have Lost My Way. <laughs> this book was excellent. I should donate this one. I read this physically in like one sitting. I bought the hard copy afterward. I have my arc of A Very Large Expanse of Sea before there was even a cover released and also I think this is the one that I think Tahara signed this for me. FBEA. Yeah! And this is the one I sat for like hours, read this through in one sitting, one and a half sitting. I remember like I finished the last 50 pages that night, but I sat through the morning and read most of this in one sitting. It was so good. Good. I was gonna say great, and I said good. So great. Down here I have Never Fade. First arc I ever got. Wow, what an amazing day it was when I got this. I went straight home and read it and enjoyed every single second. Oh my gosh. And I have The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassie Clare. I went to a little breakfast at BEA where they were both there. I got to talk to both of them and they signed it for me. And lastly, I have The Arc of Heart of Thorns by Bree Barton. I moderated Bree's event in Pasadena and it was so much fun. On the bottom here I had The Book of gutsy women which I got as a gift for Christmas this past year or was it last year 2019 and 2020 have like melded into one blob things that happened in 2019 you think that was last year even though last year was a hundred years it's a weird thing that's happening now boom and just like that another Nike shelf moving on to my iron shelf masterpiece one of my goals when I was putting this together at the beginning of the last year was to have the majority of the books on this shelf be already read not just read but like books that I read and loved like my dream is to have this be a full shelf of just like my favorite books. Unfortunately they're not all red because sometimes there's just a colorful spine that's needed to make it rainbow. So those are the ones that aren't red. 75% of these are red. We'll see. We'll do a quick check as I go. I'm gonna breeze through this a little faster than my TBR shelf because we know most of these books. Hello awkward angle. Let's do this. Red and it's red. Look at this disgusting sticker removal mark that I couldn't get off. Stupid stickers ruining my favorite this is like one of my favorite books of all time everyone has already heard of it though it's called queen of shadows by sarah j mass red and red how many times am i gonna get excited about that i have not read this one yet two in a row that have nice red spines that i haven't read yet red 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 i'm gonna count this as red because i read like a good 70 percentage of it. red i haven't read this one in its entirety who has honestly have you red 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 read this past year and loved it Wow, that was 2020. Red, red. This is actually a second copy of Mark of Athena. Oh my god, the dust is in the air. But I keep it because this is when I met Rick Riordan and he signed it for me. Red. I haven't read this. It's one of the few graphic novels I own. I've heard it's so great. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna read it because I don't read graphic novels. Like, I just don't like reading graphic novels. I like to visualize things myself. So I'll donate it because I hear this story is fantastic and I don't know why I'm hogging it. Red. This is the copy of Mark of Athena that I read. This is my other copy of Outlander. The special 25th anniversary edition, it's so gorgeous. It's like cushiony. This is like a pillow. Red, 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 and oh my gosh, you must read it too. One of the best trilogies I've ever read. The best trilogy I've ever read. Tied. It's tied for the best trilogy I've ever read. Red, red, red. Oh, it's the jacket to my Court of Thorns and Roses that I had on the other side of the room. I have not read this one, but I will keep it because I have hope in the future. And it makes a really great doorstop over here. It's like the perfect size and weight to stop everything from falling off the edge of this shelf, which has parallel large hole on the end. The Lightning Thief, which is red. Greek Heroes and Greek Gods. I've read both of those. I did the audiobooks. They were real fun. Top tier red, except it's orange now. Red, red. Alas, I have not read this one, but look at this. Look at this beautiful orange spine. Can't say no to that. Top tier red. Don't sleep on Hank Green's duology. It's so good. Does this count as a book? Fine. I've only read select passages of this. Red, red. Oh, don't sleep on this one. The only Apollo I have read in full. The second one I've read like 50%? Red. Oh man, wait a minute. I haven't read this one. Ugh, oh, but look at the spine. Red. Red. I haven't read. Red. I'm gonna donate this baby. Complete my donation of this trilogy. Oh, and here's my hardcover with Devil Rishi, which I have read. Red. <laughs> Dust. 
I've read this one. Read, read. Haven't read. It feels like for every like five to eight books that I have read, there's one that I haven't read. I have to read The Wrath and the Dawn. Read, 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 and read. Of course, red. Oh my gosh, this pile is getting very, 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 very tall. Red, red, and red. Okay, this red, not red stuff is getting real boring and annoying. So we're gonna stop and just assume I've read most of these. If I haven't read it, I'll let you know. This one is so good. This is the third book in the Scythe trilogy. Classic, classic, non-classic. Classic. I wish more books were green because this is such a beautiful section. This is the first one I haven't read that I've come across in a while. This is from the author of Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Ah, no! My precarious pile fell over. This is from Me and Earl the Dying Girl, author Jesse Andrews. It's a really bright, beautiful yellow color. The cover really actually catches your eye as well. I just kind of forgot it exists and, and let it beautify my, my, my shelf for a very long time. This is almost as bad as filming a bookshelf tour. It goes on and on. We're gonna have to uh, speed this puppy up. I'll give you a quick, quick lowdown of what's going on down here. Oh, look. There's Better Together, my new novel. This is the Barnes & Noble Special Edition with an extra bonus epilogue chapter from series point of view. Look at all this good stuff. There's the Twilight Collection. That's it for the speed tour of the Iron Shelf. Let's go take a look real quick at the shelf you never get to see. The Contemporary Shelf. I'll be taking this one apart as well. Pretty unorganized again. It happens so easily. You film one video, you gotta reorganize shit. And everything gets ruined. This has been my book unshelf tour. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Christine. I'm moving. I still have Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and they're all at Xtine May. My book, Better Together, is out. My second book and my first book, Again But Better, is also out. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye!